Well, here it is. Tuesday afternoon at 2.30. My sweeper just came. <clears throat> I was expecting a much bigger box. But there it is. N520. N-C-I-N-S-E. So let's uh, crack it open here. I'll do it with my Swiss Army knife. This is called the Sportsman, by the way. Victorinox Sportsman. So we'll see what we got. I don't have a good place to do this. So I'm sorry about that. We'll have to try and show you. Let's see. I'm going to put everything up on the kitchen table after we look at it. So here's part of it. And then we'll look at it after I get everything situated. Some manuals. <clears throat> Looks like there's more to put together than I thought there would be. And this was... Oh, that's pretty cool. I was... I like that. I like the size of that. I thought it was going to be bigger, and I kind of was like thinking that it was going to be too big, and I wouldn't like it, but that looks pretty neat there. Some more pipes, some more hoses, I guess. Let's see, this is one of them ones you get into the nooks and corners with. Let's see. Yeah, one of these. One of those. I'm going to have to work on a better studio here, but let's see. And then there's one of these. I don't know what that deal is there. Why that's like that. It must come out of there or something. We'll figure it out. Figure it out later. And uh, that's probably to hang it on the wall. Wow, there's the filter. And something fell on the floor. A little bracket. This is probably for the charger. A little bracket fell on the floor. Hold on, we'll get that. Going to use my picker uppers. So that fell on the floor. A little brush thing. That's weird. What's in the box? This is probably the charger thing. Yeah, I imagine it is the charger. This thing. Oh, that's, yeah, that's for the, that's the battery, I guess. Wow, a lot of pieces and parts. So well, that's that, and then this is probably, that's empty. This is probably the main, yep. This is the main head of it. Sorry about my background, my backdrop, and well, that's pretty nice size, pretty cool. So nice colors. So let me get it put together, then I'll get back with you. Alrighty. Well, I got the battery over there charging. It was completely dead. It wouldn't. I didn't even want to try it until I got it charged up. But the battery goes down here. So that's upright, like that. It's pretty nice, it's not too heavy. <clears throat> and it comes with a nozzle to get in crevice, crevice cleaner, I guess. And then it comes with this brush. I don't know why that thing is in there. I can't get it out. I don't see anything in the directions about it. Seems like it should just come out of there, but. I don't know, I can't get it out, it's really like it's made in there or something, I don't know, anyway I'll figure it out, <coughs> the 
But you can't use the brush if that thing's on there. Where does this go? Oh, I see. There you go. There we go. That just pulls out. That's pretty slick. Sometimes I, I get it. See, that slides out. Now I got it. Pretty neat. And the wall hanger. And this little thing's pretty cool. Here's one of the filters. You're supposed to use this to clean your filter. Or whatever else you need it for. And then this is to cut. Like when you get them strings wrapped around your roller. So that's a cutter in there. There's a like a razor blade in there. So you can pull and cut stuff out. <coughs> so I thought, well, I'm going to have to put this filter in. Couldn't find anything in the manual about doing that, but it tells you right here how to do it. So it's pretty easy. Just open the door up. Open the door up with that way. My hands are not doing what they're told today. And then you got this thing, and you'll grab a hold of it, and you turn it counterclockwise, and it pops out of there. And then this is a steel mesh. And lo and behold, there's a filter in there too already. So they give you an extra filter, which is pretty convenient. Filter has this little thing on it. I guess so. I, w I wasn't sure if you were supposed to take that off, but it was on there when it was put together from the factory, so it must go that way. And then when you put it back in there, you can feel it pretty pretty good. You can feel where it seats down in there. And then you give it a turn. Let's see. Give it a turn. How did I do that? How did I do that? Let's see. Okay, it's down in there. Okay, and then you turn it. Well, I just did it. Just did it a little bit ago. Let me see here. What did I do? That's down in there. Put that in there. I just did it there. What the heck is going on there? I just did it and didn't have any... Okay, there it goes. Why was I having trouble? It seats down in there. And you give it a turn. So that's kind of... Get it in there. Okay, turn. Okay, it works okay. And then you close it up. Battery goes back here. Extra filter. So we'll fire it up here after the battery gets some juice on it and see what happens. Stay tuned. Alrighty, I got the battery charged. It took uh, four hours to charge the battery. That's why I didn't get the video up last night because I put the I put it on the charger at uh three thirty see it snaps in back here pretty easy. I put it on the charger at three thirty and it wasn't fully charged till seven thirty and I wanted to try it on my living or my t v room carpet there a little bit. But I don't have any lights in there except the light over my desk, so I couldn't really film anything in there. So this is uh, Wednesday now, it's almost 10 o'clock. And I was supposed to go to the doctor today, but I'm ca I canceled because I didn't sleep well last night. And I'm just nodding off all the time, so I don't want to drive down there. So I canceled. I'll reschedule for next week, so I'm I'm home today. I got to go up to the post office and run to the store and get a couple things. But anyway, so here it is. I just put the crevice tool on there. Just It just uh, pops in real easy. Nice click to it. Yeah, there, a nice click to it. And it has a fill line for the, you know, for the dirt. And you can't read it, but it's right about here. So about half of this, and then you're supposed to empty it 
You're not supposed to let it get any more than that. And it has two speeds. You can pull the trigger. There's a button up here. And then there's three lines. And it tells you, I guess, what speed you're on for a second. And, and then you can use the trigger. So I guess you can do it either with the button or the trigger. It says, I don't know what why they have it like that. But anyway, I just use the trigger. You pull it once. And I guess that's, that would be low. And then, again, now it's high. And then turn it off. So it's got the two speeds. And I just threw some dirt there, some oatmeal. Just to show you the suction here anyway. So we're going to pick that up. I'm going to put it on high. I'm going to start it. So it's on high. And it sucks that right up. It's pretty good. It's got good suction. Really good suction, I think. Lift the tablecloth up. And then you turn it off, and it spins in there. You can see all the dirt spinning around. So that's pretty good. So we're going to, I'm going to show you the, this is the thing, the brush head, or whatever you call it, the floor cleaner. So it's pretty cool. It snaps off of here. Let me get it off, off camera. Sort of, sort of, huh? sort of, kind of, there. So you could just use the tube, put that thing on there, the crevice tool, whatever. And then this snaps on. See, there's little pins in there for the electrical. So you have to get it in there a certain way. And then it clicks in. Nice click to it. And then this uh, swivels all directions up and down. And it also has lights on it. And that makes it nice and wheels and then uh you can lock it up but it doesn't with the motor on it won't sit by you know it'll fall over and then this hook right here you can uh when you store it if you want to i guess see this has a little groove in it right here so you can put the motor on there like that to store it I'm not sure why you'd do that, but you could, I guess. I was thinking if you stored it in your closet where you had, like, shirts hanging or something, you could store it this way, and then it wouldn't be rubbing against your shirts. But let's see. We're going to put the... Let me see. I'll show you some more here. So there's the brush underneath. This isn't really like, I don't know how long that would last. It's not real sturdy, but, you know, I wouldn't use this. I wouldn't be using this as my only sweeper. I just want it for touch-ups and things like that. Quick pickups. And that's what it's designed for. It's not designed to do your whole carpet. So, let me stick it together and get it on the floor. So this is what it's like when you put it together. There's a, I threw some crud on the floor. We're going to try and pick that up. See, it won't stand up. It's, uh, you know, it won't stand up by itself, but that's okay. So let's see if we can, and this is kind of, let me sit you here a minute. This kind of snaps back. You got to kind of, there you go, loosen that. So let's see if we can pick these oats up. This is really, let's see what happens here. I'm going to put it on high. Well, we'll start out on low. See what happens on low. Oh, that's low. It picked them right up. Nice job. That's what I was looking for. Something like that to just pick up little stuff. Really easy to push. 
put it on high. It's really easy to move around. Got a light. I like it. That's what I wanted it for, is out here in the kitchen mostly. You know, when you get little messes on the floor. And my sleeper does need run, that's for sure. So, I like it. It twists all over. It goes way down, you can get under stuff. So, we'll try it in on the carpet. I shut the camera off there. So we'll try it out, put it on high. Quite a bit of crud there. Brush is going, the brush is running. So it looks pretty good. Like I said, I wouldn't use this for my only sweeper, but the quick little touch-ups, look at how that picked that all up good. Nice. The headlight's nice too to have. I didn't think I'd like the headlight. But the headlight's nice to have. So it moves around nice. Pretty easy to move. Perfect for nice little pickups when you spill something. Or Stewie gets done playing with her toy or paper and tears it all up. I could clean it up pretty good. So. So far, I like it. I was picking up some dirt there. Yeah, I like it. So, I'll go out in the kitchen and I'll finish up here. There it is, in all its glory. The only thing is, it won't stand up, like I said. you got to figure out a... But it rolls nice, too, when you want to put it away or whatever. All righty. So anyway, there it is. I uh, I like it so far. I, mean, I just got it, so you know, time will tell. It might might catch on fire and sink in the mud tomorrow. I don't know. But we're gonna run it for a while. Probably maybe I can come back and give you a, after a couple of weeks of using it, see how it lasts. But. That's it. I'm going to put a screenshot of the order, the, you know, the one that I bought, so you can see right here at the end of the video if you want to get it. Oddly enough, I paid $66.99 for it, and I just looked on the website, and it says on clearance, $74.67, so it went up in price for some reason, and it's marked on clearance. That's funny, isn't it? So anyway. There you go. We're going to run this thing and see if we can clean up our little messes every once in a while. I think it'll work good. All right, then. Take care, everybody. Stay frosty.